don't know what happened. This is not the woman that I married. I just don't know what happened to her. When we were f first dating, we just found that we had so many things in common. One of them was that we, we shunned caffeine, neither of us drank coffee. And it was just almost like a pact. This is not something that we want to do or bring into our lives. It was many years before I came home and discovered that she had bought coffee at a coffee shop. I think the way this came into our lives was she started having this, this fascination for coffee ice cream. At first, it was fun, and then it was like she couldn't get enough. That was another thing that seemed so innocent, like mocha shakes, mocha coffee, and it was just another step, a gateway to this addiction until it just spiraled out of control. I don't know what happened. This is not the woman that I married. I just don't know what happened to her. And then it was espresso. She just slammed down these little cups of Demitasa or whatever they call that stuff. And it was just awful. She'd be so jittery, she could hardly control herself. I don't I want my wife back. I've lost her to coffee. I'd find these empty cups in the trash. You know, she didn't have to hide it from me. If she had a problem, I, I just, we just needed to talk about it. It's the part that really hurt the most. I tried to get her interested in Caffeine Anonymous. We went to a few meetings and she at first played along, but then I started finding the, the cups in the trash again and realized that she was sneaking behind my back and buying this coffee when she was out running errands. She'd drink it in the car. Sometimes it would go in our, our big trash bin so I wouldn't find it in the house. She was trying to hide it from me. It just got worse and worse and worse. I went to the Cathanon for the spouses. I went to Cathanon because I needed help. I needed somebody who understood what I was going through. Those were people that, that got it. We were all suffering from the same thing. It was Sometimes it was like uh, heavy tea drinking. Uh, mostly it was coffee. And it was people who, who really got what I was going through and really understood my pain. Then came the day when she brought home the French press. And that's when I knew that she had just basically come out. There was nothing I could do to stop it anymore. I, I had lost complete control and my wife was no longer, just was not the woman I had married. She was no longer able to control her impulses. It just was so sad to watch her just, just lose com complete control of herself. I, I, have a, I really don't know. I need help. I can't do this. This is bigger than, than we are. This program is made possible in part by viewers like you and by Java Horse Coffee. From the first cup to the last roundup, this cowboy runs on coffee. Because it's the simple things in life you treasure. Java Horse Coffee. Giddy up. <laughs> now available in decaf.